Totoro and Chihiro, breaking into the movie canon. An internationally recognized movie critics poll has ranked Totoro and Spirited Away among the greatest films ever. These days, you can find a thousand lists ranking the greatest films in history. Go to Letterboxd or IMDb and you'll be stumbling through them all day. But there's one particular, best film, list with extra cachet, not least because it's been going 70 years, getting updated every decade. It's published by the British film magazine Sight and & Sound, and it first appeared in 1952. Back then, the voters thought the greatest film ever was the Italian neo-realist drama Bicycle Thieves. Below that were two silent Charlie Chaplin masterworks City Lights and The Gold Rush and two more silents, Russia's Battleship Potemkin and America's Intolerance. No Japanese films figured in the 1952 list. In 1962, though, there was one in fifth place Yujitsu, the supernatural period drama by Kenji Mizuguchi, also called Yujitsu Monogatari. While the list was only a top ten back then, two other Japanese films made the runners-up. One was Yasujiro Azu's Tokyo Story, about the tensions between elderly parents and their adult children. Today, the director Hirokazu Kurida is often seen as following Tokyo Story's template, though Azu comparisons annoy him. The other runner-up in 1962 was Ikiru, Akira Kurosawa's drama about a dying civil servant, which has just been remade as the British film Living with Bill Nye. By 1982, Yujitsu had been replaced in the top 10 by Kurosawa's Seven Samurai, in third place. Ten years later, that place was occupied by Tokyo Story, which has stayed a favorite ever since. It ranked fifth in 2002, third in 2012, and fourth this year. That's consistency. By now, Sight and Sound was listing a top 100 greatest films, which were chosen in 2022 by more than 1,600 voters. In the newest poll, Seven Samurai makes 20th place, Yujitsu is in joint 90th position, and Ikiru has been nudged off the chart. For more on the live action titles, see the roundup on page 031. Now two anime films have made the top 100 list measured against the most respected movies in history. Granted, they're not the most surprising of anime choices. They're both Hayao Miyazaki films, and while all his pictures have admirers, they're probably the most praised of his oeuvre his 1988 My Neighbor Totoro and his 2001 Fantasy Spirited Away. Each film was a likely, first, Miyazaki film for many viewers outside Japan. Totoro, for instance, had one of the earliest English-language dubs, released in America in the early 1990s. In Britain, Spirited Away was the first Miyazaki film to have a substantial cinema release, both subbed and Disney dubbed, at a time when hardly any of the director's backlist was on home media. The distributor Optimum Releasing, later Studio Canal, used the film as the basis to release Miyazaki's and Ghibli's back catalogue in Britain, long before Netflix existed. Fans could have a long argument trying to weigh the two films against each other. For starters, are they different or similar? Both Totoro and Spirited Away celebrate Japan's spiritual heritage, and they share a sensibility you could call small s Shinto, though Miyazaki would prefer the label animist. Both films have passages of extended cartoon whimsy the cat bust the stink god. Both also have scenes that linger in quiet magic spaces. You could disembark from the sea-going train in Spirited Away and find yourself right at the rainy bus stop in Totoro. Yet the films represent such different sides of Miyazaki's storytelling. Totoro starts as an idyllic holiday, with only a slow-growing hint of threat the illness of the girl's mother that will send the last part of the film in a radically different way, structurally. It's close to Tokyo Story. Meanwhile, Spirited Away kicks Chihiro into an adventure in barely 10 minutes. It's an adventure with shades of Alice in Wonderland, giving Western viewers a hook, though with far more overt story stakes, though the stakes get replaced midway through. As Chihiro starts fretting less about her pig parents than a river boy. 
Spirited Away has been criticized for its odd-shaped story, where porcine transformations bump up against magic seals and twin witches. Totoro needs no such plot gubbins, only the simplicity of a child's perspective and a countryside built from haikus a leaf down a stream, a snail on a grass blade. For that reason, it can be shocking to read some of the mainstream critical reactions to Totoro when it first appeared in America in the 1990s reviews in journals of record. Take one of the best established US film papers, Variety, which is even older than sight and sound. Google its Totoro review, and you'll find Variety taking Miyazaki to task for padding, a television half-hour into sluggish theatrical feature, with dull and crude, visuals and a vapid storyline. The San Jose Mercury similarly dissed Totoro's limited animation. Compared with the swirling kineticism of Disney's Aladdin, Totoro is practically a still life, complained the writer. Adding the film was likely to intrigue only the very youngest American children. Three decades later, Totoro has achieved a historical validation. It's been ranked the best animation in the world, while American studios like Disney and Pixar aren't even in the picture. The sight and sound poll doesn't compare Totoro to Aladdin, but rather to arthouse films such as Spain's Spirit of the Beehive, made in 1973. That could be recommended to any Totoro fan. It's another film about the experience of childhood, where a little girl encounters a magical creature. As for Spirited Away, its closest relative in the poll after Totoro might be the glorious British fantasy A Matter of Life and Death, who stiff up a lip hero, David Niven. Constantly slides between this world and the next. Totoro and Spirited Away are a few places above these live-action counterparts. By an odd quirk, Miyazaki's films are placed right next to each other on the official list, even though they're technically three places apart. Totoro is the higher at joint 72nd place, meanwhile, Spirited Away is ranked joint 75th place, together with a classic Japanese live-action film, Kenji Mizuguchi's Sancho the Bailiff from 1954. Chihiro's and Totoro's victory goes beyond anime, it's significant for animation. Sight and Sound's poll puts animated films in amongst live-action ones, whereas other global voting institutions seem bent on keeping the media apart. I refer you to the Oscars, where an animated film wasn't nominated for Best Picture until 1991 it was Disney's Beauty and the Beast, heavily homaged in the recent Bell. A decade later, the Best Animated Feature Oscar was created, as if to say animation and live action couldn't be judged side by side. Spirited Away won in the animated category in 2003, but it wasn't nominated for Best Picture. Apparently you could judge Spirited Away against Ice Age and Lilo and Stitch, but not against, real, movies like The Pianist and Chicago, which won Best Picture that year. However, the curmudgeonly Miyazaki might have been amused that a Pixar film made it into the Best Picture nominees in 2010. It was Toy Story 3, which featured a cameo appearance from Totoro. Miyazaki's new film, How Do You Live, has been in production for what seems like forever. Its confirmed Japanese release date is July 14, almost a decade to the day after Miyazaki's supposedly last movie, 2013's The Wind Rises. The film is inspired by a 1930s novel about a boy. Reflecting on the title question, How Do You Live? Expect grand-scale adventure fantasy. Spirited Away and My Neighbor Totoro had a stellar year, with both being adapted into major stage productions. As for Spirited Away, a stage version ran in Tokyo's Imperial Theatre earlier this year, directed by another Brit, John Caird.